time. Hot dogs, pizza. Mmm, salad. Huh? For Paul, he's gone vegetarian. <laughs> 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 Uh, I think that means poison, Pyface. The food isn't that bad. Is it, Brenda? Lunch is off, boys. The pest exterminator found an ant nest in the kitchen, but he's been sorting it out. Aha! I've got you down, little ant. Uh, no, no, I don't. Since 9.30 this morning... Uh -oh. If you head to the playground, we've made alternative arrangements. Celery soup! Get your cold celery soup! Ugh. Cold celery soup? I thought we were trying to avoid being poisoned. Oh, I could always dig into my emergency pie supply. Anyone for a bite? Thanks, Pieface. But one piece of blueberry pie isn't going to feed us. Oh, I don't understand. Why would they shut the canteen over a few little ants? Yeah, it's the only good part of school. Hmm. <laughs> if a few little ants can shut down the canteen, what would it take to shut down the whole school? Menaces? I think it's time for an infestation. Touch. I'll need the rest of that blueberry pie. But I'm hungry. Would you prefer a few stale pie crumbs at school or 20 fresh pies outside school? Celery soup full of vitamins. Pick, take it. <laughs> Menaces, I present to you the Nasha Ant. <laughs> Nasha, Nasha. Ridiculous! How long does it take to get rid of a few ants? Shh! Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. I have you now. That's a bun. Exactly. I'm tracking the ant's DNA. It left traces on that bun. Aha! Uh -huh. Stand back, civilians. Things are about to get very messy. Right then, we'll uh, leave you to it. Again? I've never seen anything like it. How big are they? The size of a kid. Now, Nasha! <laughs> Time to say goodbye, Ant. <laughs> <laughs> School? Just for some tiny ants? No, it's much worse than that. There's a giant ant on the loose. Save yourselves! A giant ant? Surely there's no such thing as a... A, a giant ant! Oh! Attention, students, attention. All lessons are hereby cancelled. Please leave the school in an orderly, calm fashion. Oh, and I uh, should also mention there's a huge giant ant on the loose. Try to avoid it. <laughs> 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 Menaces one, school nil. Great job, Nasha. Ant. <laughs> Lunchtime, I think. <laughs> What's what? Oh, no! Look! It's a giant ant! Run for your lives! Don't make it angry. Nash, nash! <laughs> 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 Result! 
Looks like your lunch is sorted, Dasha. <laughs> so, Dennis, what about our lunch? Thought you'd never ask. Mm. <laughs> Wait, shouldn't you boys be at school? School's closed. Small insect problem. Leah, the twenty years I've never lost a bug, and I'm not about to lose one now. Just need to locate a trace of its DNA. Mm, if only I could find something it ate. How about your paints? Huh? Aha! We can locate the precise location of the beast. <laughs> Ooh, blueberries. Curious? Target acquired. It's on the move. <laughs> 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 And a pie's left, pie face. Um, I've got blueberry, blueberry, a blueberry. Ah, oh, blueberry for me. <laughs> Whoa! Nobody move. You've got giant egg DNA all over you. Stay alert. It's close. Uh oh, Nasha, run! <laughs> Nasha, Nasha, Nasha! <laughs> Come back here, fiend! Target, getting away! Quick, Nasha! Yeah. Out of that costume! <laughs> Nasha! Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! And, uh, what do we have here? The creature has shed its skin! Help me out of this! I can still track him! <laughs> I don't understand! How did he find us? Must be the blueberry pies. That machine thinks the pie juice is ant DNA. That's how it's been tracking us. Pie face. I'm on it. <laughs> and we'll all have to take emergency precautions. You too, Nasha. <laughs> this is it. The ant nest. <laughs> <laughs> Nice try, Ant. Think you could hide in the sewer, eh? the day off school. Yeah. Oh, look, it's Principal Detester. He's got the day off too. Mm. Ah. Oops. Ah. I don't want to see another plate as long as I live. Well, I guess you won't want lunch then. Oh, thanks, Brenda. Mm. Let me guess. Blueberry. <laughs> 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 Okay, now 
sure nobody gets in that door. <laughs> Whether you like it or not. Please, Mum. I can't take another holiday at Auntie Prue's. <laughs> <laughs> Please, Auntie Prue, 500 star jumps before breakfast. It's too much. Nonsense. You need to earn your wheat jump porridge. Now, put your backs into it, spit spot. <laughs> <laughs> not going back to Auntie Prue's. We've managed to find a holiday camp you haven't been banned from. And there's loads of activities to keep you out of our hair. I, I mean, happy. Mm. Adventure playgrounds, archery targets, scavenger hunts, fun, fun, fun from dawn till dusk. <laughs> Sounds brilliant. Let's get packing, Nasha. Mm. Rest, rest, rest. <laughs> Saves me taking it down. Are we there yet? For the five hundredth time, no. Uh, try and enjoy the country here. Insert pipe K. Into slot nine. I'm taking care not to... Can I check out the campsite, Dad? Of course you can. Soon as you get your tent up. <laughs> That'll keep him quiet for a bit. <laughs> All done. I'll be back for tea. See ya. Hey! Welcome to Camp Sunshine. I'm Billy, your crazy camp host. Okay, I'm looking for fun. Am I right? I'll show you the way and let you start relaxing. Oh. And here's our activity tent. Now, you don't want grown-ups cramping your style, am I right? So, I've left it all in the capable hands of my favourite nephew. Cool. <laughs> Walter! Yes! I see your mum got the leaflet. <laughs> she told me all about Auntie Prue's and I couldn't bear to think of you having another terrible time on your holidays. Yes! Right then, I'll leave you to get on with it then, shall I? <laughs> Bye-bye for now. Cool! Archery! <laughs> Felt it pens! So we can do some fun colouring in, of course. Colouring in? What about archery? Oh no, Dennis, that's far too dangerous. We're exploring the creative arts. Creative, eh? Stay within the lines. Hmm. Don't forget the uh... oh, no! <laughs> bullseye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in charge here. Oh, if you want to stay, you have to go oh, to do what I tell you. Oh, maybe I don't want to stay. What? Would you rather go back to Auntie Prue's? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like a bracing ice cold char. That. Nash. <laughs> okay, maybe it is better here. Just. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Of course it is. You'll find my activities a perfect blend of healthy exercise and educational fun. <laughs> to the adventure playground. Yeah! <laughs> That's more like it. <laughs> More like it. We should be climbing it, not cleaning it. And mess it up with your muddy feet? Not likely. <laughs> more water. We need more water. Whatever you say, Walter. <laughs> about it, you'll have to leave. And we both know what that means. 
Uh, can't I have some lemonade, Auntie? Nonsense. Prunzels is good for you. Uh, <laughs> ah, this holiday's turning into a real washout. <laughs> <Woo -hoo! laughs> oh, hello, son. Ready for some beans and sausages? Proper camping food. Hey, hey! Everyone's having a lovely time. <laughs> Am I right? Yes. Yes. Walter said you weren't settling in. He thought you may be happier on holiday somewhere else. Auntie Prue's, was it? Oh, oh, hey, hey, oh, hey, hey. Hey. Tell you what, there's a scavenger hunt tomorrow. Yeah, why don't you take part and see for yourselves that a Camp Sunshine holiday is the best holiday in the whole wide world. Am I right? Oh, I love my job. Dennis, please find a way to get along with Walter before he gets us all kicked out. And before we have to go and stay with Auntie Prue. Oh, hell of it's going to be all right. Oh, I'm not letting Walter ruin our holiday. Time for Plan D and G. <laughs> Morning. I've made breakfast. Are you feeling all right? Of course. Why don't the two of you go for a nice early morning walk? I'll look after B. Like Dad says, proper camping food. Hope you're hungry, B. They're the best scavenger list ever. Those beans brewing yet, B? <laughs> now to print it out. Oh, what is that bong? <laughs> Keep watch, Nasha. <laughs> Let's make this list a bit more interesting. <laughs> Genius wears a striped jumper. Nash, Nash! Now, where was I? Oh, yes. <laughs> Thanks, B. <laughs> now, the scaving hunt rules are simple. Like you, eh, Walter? <laughs> <laughs> Silence! Collect as many items on my list as you can. But beware, many of them are rather surprising. He's not wrong there. Nash, Nash! Uncle Billy and I will judge the winner when you get back. On your marks, get set, scavenge! <laughs> 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 Scavenger hunts, Walter. I put loads of fun items on this year. <laughs> uh, my megaphone! Hey, wh what are you doing with that? <laughs> it was on Walter's list. Look. Let me see that. The, the red toilet roll, five points. Bareface cheek. Uh, the hot dog sausage, ten points. My dinner more like. A pair of polka dot pants, a hundred points. All the tent pegs you can carry, ten points each. <laughs> but I don't understand. <laughs> it's chaos back there. Who told you ought to pull up our tent pegs? <laughs> Sorry, Walter. It seems you can't be trusted to be in charge. Am I right? Yes! Hey, kids, who would you like in charge? Yes! I can't hear you! Yes! Well, looks like we have a winner. Am I right? Yes! Oh, I'm not wrong. Time for some proper fun. Colouring in the archery targets. Huh? Style. Hooray! Uh, hang on, Walter. Someone has some tent pegs to replace. Am I right? No. Oh, cheer up, Walter. We're on holiday. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Everything 
ready, Curly? All systems go, Dennis. History's in the menace making. Hear that, Paul? You're about to be the first <laughs> potato on the moon. Ready for liftoff, Nasha? Three, two... <laughs> Till the moon? What on earth were you thinking? An astro spud. I know. Genius. Oh, I'm going to be doing overtime on my overtime to pay this damages bill. Oh, perhaps you can help Paul write his best selling astro spud autobiography. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry, Pie Face. The spud space program's going to have to wait. Right now, we need a fundraising scheme to help Dad pay the bill. Oh, what about a pie stand? Yeah. Last time we had a pie stand, you ate all the pies. Oh, yeah. A dog grooming service? No chance. They'd all want to look like Nasha, and he's a one-off. <laughs> huh? What's he up to? Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> we'll have a car wash. Look, Walter can pull in two cars with a five-star car wash, so if we have five... Thousand stars. We'll pull in uh, <laughs> two million cars. Are there two million cars in Beano Town? <laughs> <laughs> no time for counting, Curly. We've a menace car wash to set up. And five thousand. <laughs> Don't worry, Dennis. We'll just wait for the next dirty car. Oh, there must be more than two dirty cars in Beano Town. <laughs> oh, it's just hit me. If you want to mess up cars, you can't beat a bird. That's right. Birds are born to mess up cars. Oh. So, we catch and train 5,000 birds. Or, faster, we just menace one up. Feathers away, Nasha. Nash, Nash. <laughs> it's like I'm watching a nature program. This pie face is the Menace 2000 Car Messer Up a Bird Bot. Oh, catchy. All we need now is ammo. Two buckets of mud, one bucket of cold baked beans, another bucket of mud, one bucket of sour cream, past best before date, another bucket of mud, 16 jars of horseradish in a bucket, two buckets of soggy porridge, 3,800 mils raspberry rocket drink, and mix thoroughly. <laughs> Come on, let's see how Curly's getting on with the GPS. Ooh. I've hooked up a GPS so it now has the ability of satellite guidance. And finalise the upgrade with state-of-the-art target recognition software. You're good to go, Dennis. <laughs> Curly, time to rustle up some business. Oh, no. Precedes you, Dennis. Oh, he's right. They think we'll make their cars dirtier. Ah, uh, technically we have made their cars dirtier. Yes, but Walter's getting all the business. We earned that business, and we're gonna get it back. A first-class job, team. <laughs> I think you'll find this vehicle still dirty. <laughs> Who's up for Beano Town's fastest car wash? <laughs> Lower fee and poop free. Huh? Uh, there. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> 
An adversary. This means war. Uh oh. Porridge, baked beans, and is that raspberry rocket drink? Either the local birds have radically altered their diet, or I smell a Dennis scam. Colonel, stop! That's a rare and endangered. Wooden beaked warbler. Uh, who, uh, who? <gasps> wooden beaked warbler. Over sixty years as Beano Town's number one bird watcher, and I've never heard of it. It must be rare. Pardon me, Colonel, but I do hope you're planning to take that menace right out of the sky. Don't be so absurd. Of course not. That's a wooden beaked warbler, don't you know? A what? Exactly. I hadn't seen one before either. It's incredibly rare. Oh, no, I can't shoot it down. It could well be the last of its kind. Mm -hmm. I have to capture it. Ah! Uh, say, my boy, how would you like to be part of the ornithological coup of the century? Get it? Coup? No, it's a bird thing. Charlie, give me the controller. We're about to be rumbled. Uh, here. If my calculations are correct, this net will fly out, open up mid-flight, and capture the bird. Fire in the hole! Oh, my calculations may have been a bit off. Oh dear. I hope it wasn't the last of its kind. <laughs> Target recognition system just went bonkers. It now thinks people are targets. Uh oh! I oh, will turn it off. Off? Dennis, when you asked for a swoop and poop with rapid fire, you didn't ask for an off button. Crash, uh -oh. crash. Not the pace 
leave a postman preparing to pull. <laughs> I must draw your attention to Postal Delivery Service Article 49B, Subsection 12, which expressly states... <laughs> 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 to Magnet Monthly. What's Magnet Monthly? <sighs> the only periodical exclusively about the hows and whys of magnetism, obviously. It's fascinating. Right. There's even less of Efficient Pockets Weekly, Fractions Quarterly, Ant Admirer and Collectible Placemats. Wow. Walter, I... I'm horrified. You shouldn't be inside reading boring magazines. You should be getting out and doing fun stuff. Nash is doing you a favour. A favour? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's got you out of the house. You're getting fresh air, exercise, and Nash is getting exercise too. <laughs> and now his collection is just one sample short. Oh, what collection? <gasps> Within 24 hours, the world record for the largest collection of samples from post office issue underpants, held since 1908 by an unusually fast and snappy dash -und, will be claimed by one Nasha Menace! Nasha! Hmm. Well, as you've clearly no intention of curbing your pooch's postal impropriety, I'll have to take postal matters into my own hands. Eh? You're going to be a postman? Yes, Nash. <laughs> oh, no, of course not. Sorry, Nasha. Walters doesn't count. But come tomorrow's post, you'll be the new title holder. <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> ah, don't want to miss the big moment, eh, Walter? Oh, absolutely not. Today is the debut of the future of post delivery. Say hello to the Postatron. Eh? Huh? <laughs> oh, 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 that's the new postman. <laughs> it's a prototype. <laughs> All the traits of a human postal worker combined with robot efficiency. <laughs> I first read about it in Stamps and Envelopes <laughs> News. <laughs> I told the post office I knew just the place to test it out. Splendid. Porridge enthusiast. Hm. I've been looking forward to you, my friend. Post? We've not had post for months. <laughs> Poor Nasha. He's devastated. How can he bag the record for postal underpants samples when our robot postman doesn't wear pants? Could we put pants on it? It doesn't have legs. Could we put legs on it? Uh, well, no! We've got to get rid of the robot postman. We've got to get a real postman back so Nasha can claim that record. <laughs> and this is how we're going to do it. <laughs> Me and Nasha will drive it, and when Nasha barks into the microphone inside, it'll sound like a hundred dogs. <laughs> At the sound of a hundred Nashers, any postman would like it. And as the Postatron is programmed to behave just like a postman... You've built a robot dog? Obviously. It's the only way to scare off a robot postman. We don't want you scaring off the robot postman. I like getting post. Here's a postcard from Gran. She's stranded in the Congo and needs us to send cash. Six months ago. Oh, that's why we haven't heard from her. And the Postatron has also finally delivered all your school reports. You're grounded. You can help us sort through all this post. Here's a power bill. Final demand. Huh? <laughs> right, you're doubly grounded. You and Nasha. But first, find some candles. But, but what about Nasha's record? <laughs> Good luck, Pieface. Thanks, Dennis. Dennis, inside, now! You're grounded! Then sorting post! Oh, you're our eyes, Curly. Keep us updated. <laughs> Hello? Is that the dog catcher? I need you to bring your largest net. <laughs> Oh, that 
<laughs> You're coming with me! Uh, Dennis, we have a problem. <gasps> I have to go rescue Pieface. He's been taken by the dog catcher. Uh, why does that sentence not surprise me? Dennis, you're not going anywhere till you finish sorting all that post. <laughs> What sort of sorting is that? It's all been sorted into a needs to be sorted pile. See ya! Another wild dog! Hey, aren't you our old postman? Your new dog catcher now! I'm chasing dogs! Oh, sweet revenge! Still, you must be miffed of robots doing your old job. That's the point. It's doing the job. Unlike me, it's fulfilling the postman's motto. Through rain or hail or snow, the post must get through. So, if the robot postman can't get through, they'll have to re-employ a proper postman. With pants! Yes, yes. Can I get out, please? Anyone? Surely the Postatron's prepared for rain, hail and snow, Dennis. Ah, it won't be expecting the menace variety, though. <laughs> Ready, menaces? Yes, Ready. a magazine called Magnet Monthly? I know. Free magnet with every issue. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Magnet Monthly? Not one issue of my subscription has arrived all year. So, can you send them again? All at once? Brilliant. My name? It's Walter. <laughs> I suppose you menaces hope once again to disrupt the march of technology. No, you win, Walter. We've tried and we can't stop the Postatron. Ha! I knew you wouldn't be able to get the better of its superior robot brain. And Nasha felt so bad about ruining your magazines, so we're making up for it. A whole year's worth of Magnet Monthly, complete with free magnets, is arriving today. You don't expect me to believe that, do you? It's true. I give you a postal marvel with news of the marvel of magnetism in bulk! Oh. <laughs> You're right, Walter. Magnetism is marvelous! <laughs> <laughs> Job back? Yes. Apparently, the Postatron had a few glitches to iron out. Well, something like that. Still, at least Nash is not around today, so I can deliver the mail in peace. <laughs> He's behind me, isn't he? Yeah. Nash! Hello, woofing dog. Congratulations. A new record. Do you have any idea what this will do for Beano Town? No. Neither do I. So, what's next for our champion then? <laughs> Apparently, he has his eye on the record for samples from Mare's underpants. Oh! Well. <laughs> Sausage is on the move. Up 
Operation Distract Nasha is go! <coughs> Nasha's going to love this! Temptation, like the world's largest sausage, demands a big distraction. <laughs> My garden! What with that reprobate Nasher at large? Don't you worry, Walter. I told Dennis that if Nasher so much as touches that giant sausage, it's the kennels for good. Oh, excellent policing. Indeed. Fun but fair. Cuteous! Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Did this to you? Um, Walter? <laughs> Sergeant Slipper, do something! Sorry, never said anything about normal-sized sausages, which are very, very tasty, I might add. <laughs> ha, thanks, Walter. I couldn't have come up with a better distraction myself. Oh, Dennis! You won't get away with it! Oh! Whoa. Oh! <laughs> As I was saying, you won't get away with the... Uh, mm. Nash? Huh. Hey, Butch, I just spoke to Chump. They're sending their top man. I can't believe it. Chomp! The coordinated headquarters for official meat products are coming to judge my little old sausage. This little old sausage will put Beano Town on the map. Huh? Ah! Ah! <laughs> Who elbows me? <gasps> <gasps> Is everything okay? No. There's a massive bite! Yes, yes! Everything's fine! <laughs> oh, yes, that's... that's right! Everything is fine! I don't understand! Who could have gotten through the lasers? Wait a minute! This looks like an animal bite! Hmm... An agile animal with an insatiable appetite for sausages and the biggest jaws in Beano Town. But who? No, nope, I've got nothing. Uh, it's Nasha, obviously. Wait a minute. I've got it. It's Nasha, of course. Ah, oh, give me strength. <laughs> Didn't get your fill last night, eh, Nasha? Huh? Hey, what are you doing? Nasha is under arrest for biting Butch's giant sausage. One bite? There's no way it was Nasha then. He would have eaten the whole thing. Good thing he didn't. That's a potentially record-breaking sausage. Nash! Don't worry, Nasha. We'll have you out in no time. Meet me at the treehouse and bring your best moustache. One bite. No way that was Nasha. There'd be nothing left. Not to mention he was with me the whole night. Which can only mean one thing. <laughs> Nasha has an evil twin, like Paul. Oh, Nasha's been set up. And we're going to find out by who. Curly, how much do you know about the coordinated headquarters for official meat products? Ah, sorry, Mr. Man. We're not open to the public yet. C-H-O-M-P, Inspector. That's quite a sausage. <laughs> Step this way, gentlemen. We have some paperwork to fill in. Psst. Take a swab. <laughs> Time to 
time for Operation Bog. But I went before we left home. That's B-O-G. Bust out, Nasher. Oh, phew. And, and then, of course, there was that huge brat verse from Bavaria. Underpants. Scramble. Uh-oh. Underpants. Oh, but I only got two pairs. Come on, Piper, it's underpants. <laughs> Okay, Nasha, this is the scent of the record-breaking sausage. Find the missing piece, and we find the culprit. Mr. Mayor, sir, this gentleman says he's from Chomp. Hear about the record. Lucky us, eh? Two in one day. Uh-oh. Come back here, you! Uh-oh! Nasha, unleash the please! Nice one, Nasha! Now, we flee! Hello, hello, Slipper! Yeah, uh, it's me! Nasha, got away! Nasha! Walter! Of course it's Walter! It's always Walter! Hmm. Dennis! Oh, I thought that mutt of yours was locked up! Stop right there, Dennis! <laughs> oh, well done, Sergeant Slipper! Seize the giant sausage biter and his rascal of an owner immediately! Hang on! How does he know about the sausage being bitten? Oh. Yes, Walter. How do you know? <laughs> well, I mean, I just put two and two together. Uh, giant sausage, <laughs> a gnasher on the loose. It's obvious. Run, Claudius. Huh? <laughs> hey, I just shampooed the carpet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nice try, Walter. What? It's not inconceivable that he acted alone, is it? OK, fine. I may have helped a little. Sorry, Nasha. As for you, Claudius, you're off to the kennel for a night. But... but there is no kennel for cats in Beano Town. I know! <laughs> Too bad Curly's a good singer. You can drop the act now. Uh, huh? Yeah, good thing they sent you out from HQ to help with the measuring. Not sure how I would have handled this on my own. <laughs> right. <laughs> Ooh, just a few millimetres off. Sorry, folks. Record remains. Well, I wanted a record. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Why? Why? Hang on. I'll give you a record. Got a stopwatch. Hello. <laughs> Unbelievable! We have a new giant sausage speed eating world record. <laughs> well done, Dennis. Your dog has put Beano Town on the map. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's disgusting. Mop boy, clean up on stage. Goo! To be a Nash 
can go and have a goo-filled balloon fight later. Great, eh? Oh, Dennis! It's school photo day. You have to stay clean. Stay clean? Me? Uh, yes, Dennis. I want Mum to have a photo of you looking absolutely sparkling. Upstairs, now. It's so hard. Morning, Mr. Um, Walter's dad. Listen, a uh, little favour. You know it's school photo day. Yes, of course. Walter's just had his 13th bath in preparation. He should be clean enough now. Well, after his shower, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, um, I want Dennis to stay clean too. Uh, thing is, I've got to be rushing off to work now. Well, if Dennis goes to school on his skateboard, he'll get mucky. So, uh, could you take him to school along with Walter? <laughs> what, and have Dennis make a mess in my lovely car? Oh, no, 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 no. It won't do that. You're not going to get yourself <laughs> uh, messy, are you, Dennis? <laughs> <laughs> Me? Get messy? No, of course not, Dad. <laughs> I'm warning you, Dennis. You better stay clean. If Mum doesn't like the photo, you're grounded for a month. A month? Just if I get dirty? <laughs> Well, that threat seems to have worked very well. Have him wait outside. We'll set off soon. <laughs> oh, thank you ever so much. You know, you, you, you really are too... <laughs> ...kind. Ah, <laughs> oh, Dennis. I see you've prepared for the school photo. Rather than smelling of an entire rubbish dump this morning, you only smell of a cow pat. <laughs> oh, oh, Dennis, you appear to have some paint on you. Oh, no. Can't out-menace a menace, Walter. I'm squeaky clean right now. I know it. No, 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 really. You have some paint on you right to... there. Huh? Ah! Walter! I could get grounded for a month! Oh, sorry, Dennis. I had no idea. You better wash that off then. Oh, don't worry. Dad won't leave until you're in the car with me. You're quite safe. So... <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, right, boys. Shall we... Wait, where's Dennis? Oh, he's in the car already, Father. Yeah, oh, jolly good. Quieter than usual, isn't he? <laughs> ah! Hey, Walter! Wait! <laughs> oh, now how am I going to get to school? Outside any longer, I'm bound to get dirt on me. I can't help it. The only way I'm going to make it to school without getting mucky is if I take <laughs> the bus. The regimental command will love these two ludicrously large and unfeasibly unstable cream ghetto that I can barely keep a hold of. Oops, nearly tripped. Luckily, I didn't. Oh, uh oh, all the menace opportunity ahead! <laughs> uh, can't resist! Must menace! What's that? Army. Whew. Thanks, Nasha. If I had a trip the Colonel, I'd be caked in cake. <laughs> ah! The bus! <laughs> oh, next bus isn't here for another hour. OK, Nasha. We're going to have to make it there on skateboard. Oh, brilliant! It's snowing! <laughs> Nash? Uh, hang on. That's not snow. That's... Bye. 
beautiful gelatos. to get to school on time as if we go through Ah! Uh, Peanut Town Park! Uh, uh, maybe I was wrong. As long as I stay on the path, nothing can make me dirty. Ladies and gentlemen, yes? I am happy to present the reenactment of the Battle of Beano Town. From the north came the invading Fulchester army who were armed with mud pies. <laughs> The brave Beano Town defenders who were armed with custard pie. Oh, what are the chances? Now watch the carefully choreographed reenactment of Beano Town's finest hour. <laughs> Next to have their photo taken, Dennis. Perhaps I should go next, Mrs. Creature. Something tells me Dennis won't be attending. <laughs> <laughs> what was that, Walter? Ah, oh, uh, Dennis. <laughs> I didn't expect to see you. <laughs> Gosh, look at how clean you are. Yeah, no thanks to you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm sure this is all just a simple misunderstanding. Um, let's just shake on it. Masha, Walter thinks we should shake. You know what? I agree. Would you do the honour? Nash, nash. <laughs> Ready, Mrs. Creature. Uh, all right, Dennis. Smile and arms by your side, please. <laughs> on a timer, your picture will be taken in just ten seconds' time. But, oh, dearie me, I dropped my pen. Dennis. <laughs> well, it's, uh, yeah, well, I, it, it is, I suppose. <laughs> so, no month of being grounded? <laughs> yes! Outside, Nasha! Time for a goo filled balloon fight! <laughs> 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 Our lovely little boy. 